My beloved spoke and said to me, Arise, my darling, my beautiful one, come with me. See, the winter has passed. The rains are over and gone. Flowers appear on the earth. The season of singing has come. The cooing of doves is heard in our land. The fig tree forms its early fruits. The blossoming vines spread their fragrance. Arise, come my darling, my beautiful one, come with me. Place me like a seal over your heart, like a seal on your arm. For love is strong as death, its jealousy unyielding as the grave. It burns like a blazing fire, the mighty flame. Many waters cannot quench love, rivers cannot sweep it away. If one were to give all the wealth of one's house for love, it would be utterly scorned. Apart from my wife, there are four other beautiful ladies here today. Billy, Lauren, Jazz and Belinda, my sister. Chelsea and I would like to thank them very much for being such wonderful supporting bridesmaids and I'm sure that you can agree with me that they all look pretty fine today. I'm extremely honoured to be Daniel's best man and stand by his side on such a special event in his life. Um, I'm his only brother, so... Um. <laughs> Dan and I have many memories together, starting from a young age where we used to build tree houses together, persuade each other to run across the cow field wearing red t-shirts, Chelsea and I, we've literally grown up together. We've shared so many pivotal moments together on our journey into womanhood. First boyfriends, first kisses, first heartbreaks, finishing high school. We even went on to study teaching together and, and I guess that's why I've always called you my mini me because we're just one and the same. goes above and beyond for his family, his friends, and most importantly, his social media audience. <laughs> Giving everything he does 110%, with many achievements in water skiing, photography, sailing across the Southern Pacific Ocean, flying his drone, selling houses, and more recently managed to convince Stafford to allow him to marry his daughter. Our granddad always told us, behind every successful man is a successful woman. As many of you know, Chelsea has some rather large achievements on the water. She's won gold medals at Australian Nationals and represented her country five times at World Championships. Growing up, you've always been one or two steps behind us in terms of, you know, um, reaching puberty, first boyfriend, <laughs> first, um, you know, other developmental milestones, but Charles, you've sprinted past all of us at the finish line, so well done, you know.
Mum and Dad. To find the words to thank you is a difficult task indeed. With all the time in the world, I could never convey my gratitude to you both for your love, care and affection you have shown to me during my life. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for everything that you have done and for moulding me into the person I am today. I quite like how I've turned out. <laughs> and obviously that's enabled me to win Chelsea over, so thank you. <laughs> Thank you to my groomsmen, Brandon, Adam and Rich. Nailed that. <laughs> you guys have made this whole wedding thing a lot of fun, so thank you. Now, a lot of the, uh, our English friends here know how much Dan likes his food. Well, he devoured everything in our fridge, literally. The other thing that Daniel found amazing in our home was we've got a laundry chute. And this laundry chute is absolutely amazing because you'd put your laundry down it and within hours it would come back folded and pressed on his bed and he thought it was amazing. We'd miss you when you're away because, for some strange reason, the laundry chute keeps breaking down. <laughs> and Stafford, sorry, but I, I, I don't miss you. <laughs> I've got a done, done. <laughs> my computer's broke. My phone's broke. Can you come and fix it? <laughs> In all seriousness, um, Antoinette and I both love Dan very, very much. Uh, he's... Oh, God. He's a brother to Cameron and Jordan, a brother to Catherine, and we love him very much, and uh, we look forward to spending the rest of our lives with you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to talk about Chelsea first. Um, I could sort of ramble on about things that she's done and so forth, but I think it's appropriate that I read a poem that I wrote Chelsea when she was 16, 16, 16 years of age. The day you were born brought joy to my heart. A toddler taking your first step, uttering your first words, brought joy to my heart. Watching you grow, your first day at school, playing sport, dancing to Spice Girls, always the little lady, have all brought joy to my heart.
That's it. <laughs> like a pearl in an oyster shell, perfect in its shape, size, colour and luster, the perfect gem. How proud I am to have a daughter like you. I hope this is a very special moment in your life as you are only 16 once. As life will pass you by, but do as I have done and enjoy every moment with passion, commitment and determination. You will conquer the world. Always remember, for you each day my heart opens and fills with joy and my love reaches for the sky and I will to the day I die. Love forever, Dad. I could tell you a million and one fond memories I have of Chelsea and I, but the reason we're all here today is to celebrate this beautiful couple. Yes. Um, and the day that Miss Chelsea Elise Scott becomes Mrs. Chelsea Elise Oliver. As you may know, Chelsea and Dan's love was first sparked in Stony Park, Port Macquarie. And after first laying eyes on him, Chelsea's first words were, I'm going to be with that guy, you just watch me. <laughs> and in true Chelsea style, she set out about getting exactly what she wanted. Thank you for agreeing to marry me <laughs> and making me the happiest man in the world. I think you can all agree with me that she looks absolutely gorgeous today when she walks up the aisle. I hope you can rest assured that I'll continue to make Chelsea happy and give her the best life I can. Say you don't marry someone that you can't live with, you marry someone that you can't live without. And I think that sums it up perfectly. I can't live without you. We've known each other from the first glance to this point of commitment. You decided to marry after a beautiful proposal in Dubai in 2015 and from that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed, you have been making commitments in an informal way. All of those conversations that were held in the car, or over a meal, or during long walks, all of those conversations that began with, when we're married, and continue, continued with, I will, and you will, and we will, all those late nights, talks that included someday, and somehow, and maybe, and all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart, all these common things and more are the real process of a wedding. Hi, Daniel Peter, take you to Elise to be my wife, to have and to hold, from this day forwards, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death us do part, according to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. I, Chelsea Elise, take you, Daniel Peter, to be my husband, to have and to hold, from this day forward, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health. Cherish. Till death us do part, in the presence of God, I make this vow. The mountains that you've already conquered together as a couple is an absolute testament to the strength of you both. It fills me with such excitement and anticipation just thinking about what you'll both be able to achieve together as man and wife. Truly, anything is possible. To love is nothing, to love is something.
but to love and be loved, that's everything. So cheers for Mr. and Mrs. Oliver. We made it! Lovely to see so many of our family and friends here today to help us celebrate our special day. Obviously a lot of you have came and travelled a long way to be here and that means so much to us. In fact, collectively we have travelled over half a million miles to be here today, which is pretty impressive. Good start, I'm good at stats. <laughs> it really wouldn't be the same without you all, so thank you. I'd like to welcome you all here this evening, uh, or this afternoon. Um, thank you for uh, the uh, English people, our friends, uh, for putting on uh, this wonderful uh, uh, experience here. Unfortunately, it's not been possible to have everyone here today with us, but we know they're here in spirit and they're not only here with, our, with us in our thoughts today, but more importantly, they're here with us in our hearts. So with that in mind, please would you all stand, raise your glasses and join me in a toast. To absent friends and family. And I'd also like to thank all our Australian friends who have made the long journey from Australia, obviously, to come and help celebrate this momentous occasion. So thank you.
Stafford, thanks again for your kind words and assisting Chelsea down the aisle today. Thank you also to yourself and Antoinette for bringing up Chelsea to be a wonderful woman she has become. I know that Chelsea has put a huge amount of effort in today to make it perfect and I think she's just done that and I hope we can all agree. It can be very difficult when two families come together, but we've been extremely lucky. The Scots have welcomed me into their lives and my family have welcomed Chelsea into theirs. We all get on so well and that's a rare thing indeed, so I'd like to propose a toast to family. Ready to family! <laughs> Last year in July, I was diagnosed with testicular cancer, the scariest moment of my life. Seven days later, I had the surgery. With a positive outlook on life and motivation for selling houses, along with his attitude towards becoming Ray White Rookie of the Year, it wasn't long before Dan had bounced back, as if nothing more than a scratch on his finger. I'm sure Dan's bought boss Brett will back me up when I tell you it only took Dan one day to get back into work after his operation. Chelsea, however, managed to milk it for a full week. <laughs> My beautiful wife, I'm sorry for scaring you through the whole thing and she cried every day but she was also there for me and did support me and I love you for that. Thank you. And I'd also like to say, obviously, how wonderful, how amazing Chelsea and Daniel look today. They are absolutely radiant, so congratulations. If you ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea, I'll sail the world to find you. If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see, Chelsea, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. And all that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. 
within the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You can count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, and you'll be there. Daniel, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. And all that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. If you're tossing and you're turning and you just can't fall asleep, I'll sing a song beside you. And if you ever forget how much you really mean to me, every day I will remind you. are supposed to do all oh yeah Chelsea, I love you so much. You are the most amazing person and for every moment I spend with you, my life is filled with joy and happiness. Can you all please stand and raise your glasses to my wife?